everyone. Hey, everyone. Look who we have tonight. Charlie Brown's in the house. We're coming to you live tonight because Charlie Brown's here and he has missed you all. So make sure y'all blow up them comments. We want to say thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Christy. This is Greg and no, better known as Lucy and Charlie Brown. And tonight we're going to make an Easter wreath with lots of vibrant colors. We want to say thank you for joining us. And I'm going to move the camera down and we're going to get started. Okay. I think I got to move the camera back. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to make you sick, I promise. All righty. Didn't move. I'm going to move it over. So I went ahead and I used a 21 inch mesh. I went all the way around. I did eight to 10 inch poofs all the way around. Some of them are eight, some of them are 10. I had a little bit left on the roll, so I just went ahead and filled in the middle. I did the crisscross on the back side. And finished filling in the center because I have lots and lots and lots of embellishments. Alrighty. Tonight, I'm using this cloth fabric um, deco mesh. I cut them at 25 inches. And I did the woodland ruffles. I'm using this bright, vibrant yellow. As well, I'm using this bright, vibrant pink. Hi, Pam. Pamela. And as well, I have lots of ribbon we're gonna to use tonight. I have this pink with a little daisies in it that has lots of different colored daisies in it. And I have this mint green plaid. I have some yellow jelly bean that I paired with this purple spring colored flowers. Isn't that not just gorgeous? Vibrant colors. I have this pink and purple jelly bean wreath, or wreath, goodness, ribbon as well. I paired that with this pink daisy, white daisy ribbon. So lots of ribbons, lots of vibrant colors. As well, I have lots of embellishments that we're going to use that are very bright and vibrant. I wanted this to be fun and vibrant. So I got this Easter egg. I got this one that has a little daisy flower on it. And I got this pink one as well. I got this little bunny with his little paws. And tonight it's going to be all about placement, placement of everything. We have the little truck with the little Easter eggs in the back of it. We got the little Easter Easter bunny feet. It's just, it's just going to be awesome. I'm telling you, it's just going to be awesome. Alrighty. So I'm going to get started. I hope everyone's having fun tonight or had a blessed day. I really wanted to use the mint colored mesh. My supplies aren't in yet. So I said, well, we'll just go with yellow. It's bright. It's vibrant. We'll just go with yellow. Hi, Janessa. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. I went ahead and I did the woodland ruffles on this just so we could go faster. It would go a little faster because I'm not really fast at doing the woodland ruffles. So I wanted to go ahead and do those, get those out of the way. But I did save two of them to do on the live. And I'll show you how to do this. Because like I said, we have lots of things to put in this wreath. Lots of things. So how's everyone doing this evening? Miss Lucy here decided we was going to put up some more uh, lights today. So yeah. after we get done with our live, we're going to do a quick video of the lights that we put up on the house and that to show everybody and we're going to post on the positive creation page. Yeah. We didn't go all out this year like we normally have in the past, but we decided to put up a little bit of stuff. Yeah. There's 
do a little more time, a few more days before Christmas. Well, looky there. Yeah, coming apart now. It did. You're overworking it. Did. it. I, I am. I am. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll just go ahead and skip that one because it's supposed to be yellow. And we'll just go ahead and pop this red one, or red, pink one in. I thought I was the only one that was colorblind. You are. You are. Mm -hmm. I felt it getting looser as I tried to open it up. Anybody do anything fun, exciting? Getting ready for Christmas. I know our kids and grandkids aren't coming down. I don't want them traveling with the COVID and stuff because the grandbaby's being so little. But still, I still wanted to put some lights up and still be a little festive. So we went ahead and hung up some lights. And I didn't want to be a Scrooge. Oh, like me? Yeah, like you. <laughs> Has anybody been watching uh, Christmas shows? Yeah. Old I'm... ones or new ones or... You must know I was getting ready to ask about Christmas shows. Okay, Pamela. said so she'll be right back. Alrighty. Has anybody seen that Christmas show, Christmas with the Cranks? What's that guy's name? His real name? Yeah. Tim Allen? Tim Allen, yeah. Has anybody seen that Christmas show? He goes and gets that Botox done and he can't eat and all that food's falling out of his mouth and his neighbors are yelling at him to free Frosty. Janessa said she bought wreath supplies. You bought wreath supplies? I did too. I bought them online and I was wanting them shipped to the house. I give. If I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize. Is that not cute? Just the colors. They're so vibrant and they're just they're just out there. How's everybody else getting with their shipping? I mean, are you getting things shipped to your house? Everything that we've shipped out, orders and stuff, everything's out. Everybody finally got their stuff except for one order is still out there. Ah. <sighs> One more thing. But of course, we haven't gotten anything in either. No supplies yet. But then again, it is a big order, so go figure. Janessa said, Joanne had a good sale on ribbon. No, you're saying it correct. All right. Thank you. I feel bad that I pronounced people's names wrong in that and... I just don't want to. We don't want to offend anybody yeah. or hurt anybody. But yeah, Joanne usually does have some pretty good stuff. Yeah, I haven't been there in a while. We have a Joanne's. It's like 25, 30 minutes. It just kind of depends on who's driving me or him. If I'm driving, it's like maybe 10, 15 minutes. If he's driving, it's about 20, 35. <laughs> yeah. Um, minutes away. And um, the town that it's in, it's in a, one of the bigger towns by us. Well, like I said, it's, it's about, you know. Well, who, depending on who's driving away from us. But I haven't been over there in a while because they have, they just all of a sudden had a big surge and outbreak of COVID. And I said, I don't want to go over there for a while. So I've been staying away. And my other favorite craft store is over there too. And I haven't been going over there. So I've been staying home. I've been being a good girl and staying home. So I ordered online. But I should have known better. Especially with the post offices being so backed up. I should have known better. Oh, 
will. It'll be here one day. It'll be here one day. Then we can do our giveaway. Lots of giveaways. So I've been staying home, like I said. I just haven't been nowhere. Janessa, Janessa asked, where did you order from? Um, I just, just the other day, just two days ago, I ordered from Craft Outlet, a small order. I had a bunch of rewards that I had to cash in before the end of the year, and I really didn't want to order, so I ordered a little, that, my little orders from them. Um, my big order, I ordered from, um, Craig Bachman. That's a big, big, big order. But I guess it's kind of good that my order hasn't come in yet. Because I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> I have to get finished cleaning out the garage. And I've been slowly working on the garage. Trying to get it cleaned out. And yeah, it's just been a little too cold to go out there and work. I get cold real easily, so if I go out to the garage, I'm like, oh, it's too cold to work. But if I would just hurry up and clean it out, then it wouldn't be so bad because then I could turn on the heaters out there, but I can't turn on the heaters right now because it's, it's just so full of stuff and I just need to get it cleaned out. But Because I'm eventually going to move my craft room out to the garage. Huh? Oh. He don't know. Well, I guess I'll be parking my lawn tractor here in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, I'm going to move my craft room out to the garage because it's bigger. More room for supplies. And I would have more storage room to hold things and more, more ribbon, you know. Because right now I have all of, most of my supplies are in this room, but all of my ribbon and my mesh is in the other room. So before I go to do a live, I have to run back and forth, back and forth, trying to match everything up. And so at least this way, if I move it out to the garage, I can hang shelves out there and have everything all located into one area and it won't be as bad. Janessa said, one of my Christmas presents is organizing my craft room. Oh, Yes. Oh, yes. That's what I've been working on. Um, it's been a job and a half. Janessa said she loves ribbon. Yes, I love ribbon. Actually, I did go into town today, but I didn't go in the bigger cities. I just stayed in the smaller city. They have a Ben Franklin's. That's a craft store. And pretty much anything you see on it or anything you order from Craft Outlet, they have it there at that store. That's basically the way I can describe it to you. And it's good quality stuff there. And I was looking for some mint. I call it mint. This color. I wanted this color of mesh. And like I said, they didn't have any out. But that's where I got this ribbon today. I just thought this was just gorgeous. And it did have the mint in it. That I wanted and also had the other vibrant colors and it had that so I got that. Janessa asked where are you located? I am in southern Indiana. I'm actually in a little town called Borden, Indiana. It is that little speck on the map. Um, we are northwest of Louisville, Kentucky. Yeah, um, if you know where Louisville, Kentucky is, we're like northwest of there. We're closer to the country like. Yeah. I heard some um, ruckus outside. So we went out, I went out back to see what was going on. And I had four bunny rabbits out there in the backyard playing. And he has a trailer that he pulls behind his truck sometimes. And we had some limbs that fell out of a tree out front and they were on that trailer and I guess they had jumped up on the trailer and they knocked some of those limbs off and they was out there just playing like crazy. 
Yeah, we love that far out. There's like five or six bunnies out in our backyard. We don't get cell phone reception out here. You have to be, make sure you have internet because you don't get the cell phone reception out here. Um, what else? Yeah, that's where the coyotes are scared of the chickens. Yep. <laughs> Janessa said she knows Ben Franklin's and she's in uh, Virginia. Oh, okay. Did you get a lot of snow there in Virginia? That winter storm gale, I guess, that come through? You used to deliver out there, didn't you? Yep. Hey, he's a truck driver. Right now he hauls mail. I know that's a sore subject with everybody. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He delivers mail, honestly. He just delivers it, that's all he does. Um, he used to drive for a company that hauled uh, pet food and pet supplies and stuff like that. And he used to go out to Virginia and West Virginia and New Jersey and all them areas in Pennsylvania, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What was those places called? What, the names of the towns or the stores? Yeah, the stores and the Pet towns. Pet Supplies Plus. Uh, she might know. I can't think of the other ones now. But all the, like, franchise pet supply stores and even some that are personally owned pet supply stores and that. I can't even think of it. We used to deliver, like, Big R, Rural King. Yeah. Places like that. Anybody that sell bird feed or dog food or any kind of toys or leashes? Different things for cats and dogs. Yeah. So. That's what he used to haul. Now he just hauls mail. Nothing exciting. Well, unless it's you're bringing me my craft supplies, then it's exciting. But that's not happening anytime soon. Janessa said, no, it missed us. She said, I am in Chesapeake, Virginia, Virginia Beach, Norfolk. And she said, yeah, we have Pet Supplies Plus here. Yeah, I got a, my mom's cousin lives out there at Virginia Beach, Norfolk area, too. That's pretty neat. Cool. But I don't remember what his name is. <laughs> I've only met him a couple times. But when my mom and my aunt went out to visit with him and that uh, I think he was in the Navy because mom talked about him taking him and Aunt Judy on a tour of a battleship and all that out there that was docked and stuff so. cool Well, I guess we do have more than what we needed. Well, no, because I'm going to do some in the center. That's right. Yeah. I forgot. That's right. My bad. I just got excited. I did make a few extra of these because I am going to put some in the center. I'm not going to put ribbon in there, but I am going to use some of these in the center. Just to get some more color in the center. And then Janessa said, yeah, this is the largest naval base on the East Coast. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that it was the largest one in that. Because I like to watch a lot of documentary shows and movies about military and stuff. And Christy don't get into it too much. but 
I don't watch TV really at all, just to be honest with you. I don't watch TV. Um, if I sit and watch TV, I end up falling asleep. I really do. I don't. I don't know why. I just, I can't watch TV. I, honestly, I hear a lot of noise when I lay down to go to sleep at nighttime. And I turn the TV on so I can drown out the noise. And as soon as the TV comes on at nighttime, I go right to sleep and I sleep all night long. I get up the next morning and I'm refreshed. I feel great and get up and go. But you say you hear me snore. I do hear you snoring. I hear you talking about that log wagon. <laughs> All the time. Now, I did venture out to, um, where was it we went? One day. <laughs> you must try to remember? Yeah. When I went on vacation... Oh, when you went on vacation? Yeah. With Angie and Doc? Yeah, yeah. You went out to Atlantic yeah. City. Yeah, we went out to um, New Jersey. That's what it was. And we ventured through a lot of different states and towns, and we stopped and, sight and did our sightseeing through a lot of areas. I had no clue where I was at because I am directionally challenged. I will say that. But you guys stopped where Flight 93... Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we stopped when Flight 93 had crashed, and we got to see that, and that was just, oh, heartbreaking. I saw it like a baby. I did. I'm not ashamed to admit it. All righty. I'm going to move this so y'all can see what I'm doing here. This is how I do my woodland ruffles. I just put a pair of pliers on one end to hold it down. I get my little chip clip here. That thing keeps sticking my hand. I just take it and roll it two or three times. Put my chip clip on. Flip it around. I'm losing my headband because my head's too little. One, two, three. And just crunchy it up. Right up the middle. And there you have it. That's it. Janessa asked, are you tired of doing Christmas wreaths or just wanted to do something different? I am completely done with Christmas wreaths. When I did hit, I don't know, did, did you see the one that I did for him? It was the barn. On Friday night? Yeah, it was Friday night I did it. He was supposed to be here to help me, but he got called in. Because they're so overwhelmed with Christmas mail. Um, it was a 36-inch wreath that I did. It was a Christmas wreath, and it was a barn, and it lit up. When I got done with that, I said, I'm done. No more. We're moving on to Valentine's and Easter. Well, normally he's here to moderate for me, but he, the whole month of December he hasn't been here. He's been working so much. Well, Friday night I was doing that wreath for him, and I just got done and got off the live. And as soon as I finished it up, he walked in and he said, You're done? I said, Yeah, I just finished. Why? And he goes, Oh, I was hoping I could moderate for you, and it just kind of broke my heart because he's so used to moderating for me, and he missed everybody. So I said, well, I'll go live on Sunday so you can moderate. He enjoys it. He enjoys talking to everybody, so I told him I'd jump on, and I said, we'll do something. I like it when they give me a hard time. Yeah, everybody gives Charlie Brown a hard time, and he absolutely loves it. So you have to give him a hard time. The harder the time you give him, the more he loves it. I even cleaned up my craft room and stuck his chair, because normally he would sit over there off camera, 
and I cleaned and rearranged my craft room and I stuck him over there in the corner and he goes, um, nobody puts Charlie Brown in the corner. And I go, no, it's nobody puts baby in the corner and baby, you're going to the corner. So we have him in the corner, but I see he's managed to scoot his chair up. Well, of course. Get back to your corner. I gotta be known. <laughs> back to your corner, Charlie Brown. Janessa said, I'm tired of Christmas stuff too. That wreath from Friday was very pretty. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I was I was done with Christmas and then like I said, he wanted that wreath and I said, Okay, fine. So I did it. It's actually still hanging up on our door. And I actually just went out there and turned it on for the first time tonight, along with all the Christmas lights. Yeah, that little short video we're going to do, we'll definitely get that in there, too, with the Christmas lights. Yep. A lot of the neighbors keep driving by, and they just keep looking at it, because we had a smaller wreath up, but then we took it down, and we put that one up, and now they're just driving by, and they're looking, and they're like, she's going big or going home. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm putting these in the center just because I want to fill in that center with these colors. I just want this color to really pop. Bizzazz. Yeah, I'm over Christmas. Christmas wreaths, anyways. Now, tomorrow is my normal time to go live, and I'm doing a Valentine's wreath. Where on earth is my... Let's take this out and try this again. I lost one of them. Uh -oh. I know. There it is. It got stuck. There we go. I know it looks like a lot of clumped up pink and a clumped up yellow in the center, but it's you're really not going to see it, but it, it, you're going to see a little bit of a color. And I just wanted to put some more color into this. I wanted to be really bright and bold and vibrant. There. And we'll have that white in between it. And there. See? Like that. See? I just really want it to stand out. Now I'm going to put the ribbons on the bottom. That won't take but a second. Janessa asked, do you know if Lori will be getting any more Valentine's Day kits or supplies? That I don't know. Um, normally, um, honestly, if you ask her if she has any more, I'm sure she will. Hi, Sherry. And Sherry said it's cute. Thank you. Sometimes if she only puts up so many of them, she'll hold, she'll have materials for a few of them left back. If, especially if you're in the group and she does that. So the way if somebody didn't get one that's in the group wants one, they can get one. So if you're in the group, yeah, she'll do that. Does everyone have a favorite Christmas song? Speaking of songs, yeah. I asked them if they've seen that movie, Christmas with the Cranks. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to tell them about that. You will find out if they've seen it. Uh, nobody said anything yet. You all, have you guys seen the movie Christmas with the Cranks? 
You guys got to tell me if you've seen this movie. I got to tell you guys this funny story. Y'all know I always come with a funny story. She has to ask real quick. Just send her an email. Yeah, just send her an email. Gonna take a picture of it, but he hasn't done it this year. I think he knows what's up. My neighbor down the road, if you guys seen the movie Christmas with the Cranks, you know how they hide because they're all gonna they're gonna take off and they're not gonna put the snowman out, and the neighbors are like free frosty, free frosty, they want frosty out. You know how they're screaming free frosty? The frosty, the snowman that's down in the basement that they want him to free. My neighbor has one just like it. No joke. I point that out to the mailman because we feed our mailman. And but we're friends. We're friends with our mailman. And he's a young kid. We know him and his wife and his kids and all that. Well anyhow. Our mailman came by the other day and I said, He hasn't freed Frosty yet. He's like, girl, you need to stop. I'm like, no, seriously, he hasn't freed Frosty yet. He's, re he's remodeled his house and he hasn't freed Frosty yet. He still has Frosty inside the house. I think he went and got Botox and I think he's going on vacation. He has not freed Frosty yet. I'm telling you. He's like, girl, you need to go back inside of your house and stop. I'm like, I'm telling you, he's got Frosty cat held captive in there. He has not freed Frosty yet. I'm telling y'all. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. She said, finally made it. Hello. And then Sherry said, that's funny. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's frosty in there. He will not free him. Every time we drive by there, I just want to scream, free frosty. It's the same exact frosty. And of course, this guy, he just encourages me. He he keeps the windows up and he lock, He puts the child lock on so I can't roll down the window and scream, free frosty. He will not let me scream it. He will not let me yell at the neighbor to free frosty. But it's the same exact frosty as on the Christmas with the cranks. I don't want completely everybody in the neighborhood to think we're crazy. They already know I'm crazy. <laughs> they already know I'm crazy. <laughs> well, I get first hand knowledge of that. They already know I'm crazy. I was so good to take a picture of it, and I was going to post it and say, free Frosty, or say, Frosty's free, but he will not put out this year. I think he knows what's up. I think he knows I've been stalking his house to see if Frosty's out there yet. Telling you, he's got frosty hidden in there. Probably does. You know, surprisingly, he decorates every year for Christmas, but this year he just hasn't. No, this year he has not. He has not freed Frosty this year. And they even have a basement, too. Hmm. What do you Go free Frosty? <laughs> We could just get a few people gathered up and we can just act like we're caroling and then go down there and stand out in front of his house and just free Frosty, free Frosty. We could sing Frosty the Snowman to him. Maybe then he'd free him. Yeah, maybe. Our mailman, like I said, we're friends with him and everything and him and his wife and his kids and everything. We know him. I told our mailman, his name is John. I said, now you know every day when you go to deliver milk at his house, you're going to be screaming, free Frosty, free Frosty. He's like, you need to shut up because I'll be screaming it. I start lying. I said, I hope you do. <laughs> Maybe he put it out tonight. Did you look down there and see? I didn't pay attention. I didn't either. I was trying to rip me in. It was cold.
I'll have to jump in the Jeep and drive down there and see. Yeah. Or you could just step out the door and look. I can't see that far away. You forgot I was blind. I know I'm not right. I know I'm not right, but still. Anyhow, I'm trying to be good here. So what length did you cut your deco mesh? The pink and the yellow is cut at 25 inches. And then the white is 21 inch deco mesh and I did, I just did 10, 8 to 10 inch poofs with it. And the ribbon is cut at 12 inches. Isn't that just gorgeous? I just love the way that looks. He's making fun of me still. I know what he's doing. No, he's over here now. Camera was back. She said, blind leading the colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right, Pamela. But I still want my frosty free down the road. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. With okay. all these lights on, I get hot. I had to get a drink. Sorry, y'all. Pamela said pretty. Thank you. I came back here and started turning on all these lights to get them warmed up to get it back here. And I was like, I'm cold. Now I'm like, it's hot back here with all these lights on now. I know. I'm never happy. I know. I get it. I know. I try to be happy. Yeah, I'm going to go pick up Pamela. Well, Mary's coming to get me, and then I'm going to go pick up, we're going to go pick up Pamela. Okay. So I get to be home alone. Woohoo! Yes. You have all the PD you want. And you just need credit cards, darling. Yeah, that's not him. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, it is. You got to sleep sometime. Mm-hmm. We're going to Texas. We're going shopping. I got some deer antlers and ears. I better wear them. I said I would. I'm going. I'm wearing these lights because I know I light up your life, darling. That's right, sweetheart. He lies so much. <laughs> Pamela, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> talking to Mary the other day, our friend Mary, and I said, you know, it's like a three ring circus around here. I tried to be a good Charlie Brown when I wasn't here when you was doing your lives by getting on and talking a little bit. But I know, but the bad thing was is you caught me talking bad about you. Don't ever sneak up on me like that again. Uh, I'm sorry. It wasn't real bad, but it was bad. But I mean, not real bad. Oh, okay. Digging up dirt on her. <laughs> yeah, you know. Have you seen that post I put today on the page? Oh, I know. What did it say? I don't remember. Something about the principal's office. Have you ever been in the principal's office? Um, maybe a time or two. I'm sure of that. There you get all the ribbon on? I did. I was just walking away and got it all on there. Well, I'll you there. We're done. With that? Yeah, with the ribbon. I was just talking away and paying attention. Look you there. There you go. Oh, some sauce. Now we get to put the goodies on. All these goodies. <gasps> Look at these carrots I got. They're so cute. Right. I am going to start with the bunny. Because I think I'm going to put him right here. Is this the bunny's fluffy tail? Yes, the bunny's even going to have a fluffy tail. 
Hold on, my purse is falling. Pamela said, yep, I also worked there for 35 years. Where? Where? I'm not sure. Where's that? Where? Where's that at? I'm trying to remember what you was talking about. Oh, heck, Pam, I forgot. I blinked. I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> Where did you look at, Pam? I'm sorry. <laughs> Lily Blonde. Principal's office. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to forget about that. <laughs> Lordy have mercy. I was in there more than I care to remember. I was overly opinionated. And you still are. Well, oh, wait. I wasn't supposed to say that, was it? Well, you can say it. I don't have to go to the principal's office now. <laughs> Pamela said, went there and worked there. <laughs> <laughs> check, check. <laughs> Forget it when my mom pulled up in that little circle drive to the school. I come walking out just a grin, and she's like, mm hmm. She had a way of wiping that grin off my face. <laughs> I tried to explain my side, the teacher was wrong. <laughs> According to my mother, she was right. I'd only been in the principal's office twice the whole time I was in school. If you only been to the principal's office twice in your life, you wasn't living, honey. Oh, I was living. You just wasn't being bad. <laughs> I didn't say I was bad. I just said I was opinionated. Pamela said, surprised my principal hired me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Because he knew you knew your way around the principal's office. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> your phone. I don't know. I made your fight my senior year. Uh oh. Me too. At a different school. Because you said you didn't go to North. No. Your senior year. No. No, I was kicked up permanently. Yeah. I'm not always bad, promise. Hi, Susan. She said, hey, lady. Hi, Susan. No, Pamela said, LOL, right? <laughs> Yeah, she didn't tell me all the stuff that she done throughout school before we got married. She waited till afterward. If I'd known she was that bad. You would have still married me. <laughs> you make life interesting. <laughs> I make life fun. Well, you're definitely never a dull moment. I know that. I know that's right. People probably think we're nuts. Be driving down the road and just be laughing. And they're probably looking around. But there's nothing funny to see. I know. We laugh and laugh. said smart lady gotta keep you on your toes that's right <laughs> she tries to you know i do kind of like well, there's something going on up ahead there's red and blue lights <laughs> <laughs> and it's christmas lights <laughs> i couldn't see i didn't have my glasses on that morning i couldn't see <laughs> And she talks about me driving slow, but if I drive over the speed limit, she's like, watch your speed. You don't want to get a ticket. 
Well, your license consists of your job because you're driving a big rig. I just get a different job. Going to the principal's office? No, I get jobs there. <laughs> <laughs> you might be somebody like me. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, I don't think I'll get a job there. I didn't think so. <clears throat> oh, I'm loving this. I'm loving the bright colors. Love, love, loving it. I like the bunny's ears. I know. Aren't they cute? I haven't got the truck on yet, or the feet, so let me move those real quick. This is what we got so far. Look at that bunny. He's just like peeking over. I'm going to attach the truck. Right there. Like he's holding on to the truck. Very said adorable. Pam wants that so cute. Thank you. Oh, some of the crazy things we did. When we was kids, I'll tell you what. Now, like I said, I'd only been to the principal's office twice, but that doesn't mean that I didn't do nothing bad when I was out of school. Didn't you walk across the train trestle while the train tra while that train tracks was still being active? No, I didn't. Meaning that a train could have came at any time? No, I didn't walk across no trestle. Susan said, so cute. Thank no, you. but... We went across the road and got some ears of corn and shucked the kernels off the ears. And we probably had a five-gallon bucket full. Me and my buddy decided we are going to throw corn at cars when they drive by. This was at night time. Yeah, threw one too many times. Stay caught. <laughs> we lived next door. I mean, our house, we lived out in the country. And, yeah. We had the cornfields all around our house, and yeah, it was the middle of summer, and parents were in bed, and we went out there. My sister and I did. We did that. She wouldn't throw the corn, and I hope she's watching because she ain't nothing but chicken. She wouldn't throw that corn. Whoosh. All of a sudden, I seen them red and blue lights, and I ran. <laughs> she was an idiot, and she ran to the house crying like a little baby, so she got in trouble. Me, I stayed in the cornfield and hid. Till I heard the coyotes. <laughs> then you took off, didn't you? I did. I took off and went home. <laughs> but that cop done gave up and left, so, hmm. Okay, I'll set some emojis. Bunny, chick, flower. I don't know what that other one is, and then a bunny. Flower, flower. Hmm. That was a wild one. Susan said, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I was a wild child. In the town I grew up in, just outside of town, my friend lived out in the country, and across the road from his house in the woods was an old brick factory. And the air shafts they had built underground, me and my buddy used to go in there and explore them and that, and until one day when we was going down through those air shafts, we seen prints of coyotes. He's like, oh man, we've been back in here and coyotes have been in here. <laughs> they was probably living in there. Oh, I'm sure they was. But it was real neat. They had rooms that didn't go anywhere. They was all sealed up. 
And the only way we found it was in air shafts. The bricks were knocked out to those rooms. Did you realize what you said? It was real neat. We seen coyote prints and it was real neat. It was. Are it we... was real neat hiding in that cornfield so I wouldn't get my butt whooped by throwing corn at that cop car <laughs> until I heard the coyotes. And I went home and took my whooping like a woman. Well, we used to stay up and watch Sammy Terry until like 1, 2 in the morning. Then we'd go get up and go outside, cross the road and play in the woods. Wasn't tired, didn't want to go to sleep, so we went and played. I guess. Ow. You be alright. <laughs> I am loving all these bright colors. Actually, I think when I finally did get home, I got a whooping twice as hard. Probably. I think I did. I may still have that handprint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. That's probably why I don't sit down to this day. <laughs> One more egg. Then we've got the carrots. We have some curly cues that we're going to add. I did get out some little bunnies, but I don't know if we're going to have a close. You put that clippy on there, you rotten. Well, do something with it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's wound up. Trying to keep you on your toes. You do. You do. But I did one good thing this evening. I started a load of clothes. Yeah, he did. Trying to help. Ready for me that I'm laughing at my duties. I even warmed up supper. Yeah, you did. You did. You made chili. Let that one go this way. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, they told me what? Yeah, it's Friday. This past Friday. Uh, There's a chance I might have work Christmas Day. Yeah. Yuck. Said, well, since you're going to be home Sunday, we'll just jump on Sunday and do a live and we'll just pop out an Easter wreath because I've been wanting to do a vibrant one. A bright, bold, beautiful one. Now let's put our carrots on there. I love it. Look at all these little bright, bold, beautiful Easter eggs. Yeah, the tree's not attached yet. Isn't that just gorgeous how bright it is? I'm just loving it. Let's see here. Where do you want the orange at? <clears throat> Let's pick a carrot right here. Panel said pretty. Thank you. Then Susan said, oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking when my boss was telling me that. But it all depends on the post office, whether they feel that there's enough mail that needs to go and try and get moving since it's been backed up. And then Pamela gave a heart. Yeah, you know, with him being so backed up, he's going to end up having to work. So I'll be here on Christmas, I'm going to sale. Joanne said, love it. Thank you. Like I said, I just wanted to do this one like over the top. I just knew I was going over the top of this one.
Maybe I should ate more carrots growing up. My side would be better. It don't work because I eat carrots all the time. No. I love carrots. I love vegetables anyway. Yeah, I know. You try to get me a bunch of them. Yeah. Try to get cheap breast sprouts and you wouldn't do it. Oh, no. I tried mine and Jenger. Don't like them. Brussels sprouts are amazing. Mm, I'll pass. Thanks, anyway. Cabbage and carrots and whatever else. Broccoli. Oh, yeah, broccoli. Cauliflower. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. cauliflower. Yeah. Mm. Spinach. As long as it's raw. <laughs> you cook it and forget it. Well, Popeye liked it anyway. Well, I'm not Popeye. I'm Lucy, remember? Mm -hmm. Pamela said they stink. <laughs> That's what he says. This stinks. Don't fix that stuff in the house. <laughs> I always say the best kind of cabbage is coleslaw. <laughs> yeah, after we first got married, Nat. She would fix broccoli and cheese all the time. Kids loved it. And she did too. Not me. Yep. Once they realized he hated it, then they wouldn't eat it anymore. Yep. But I'm a meat and tater. Yep. Cool. He's a meat and tater man. He ain't eating no broccoli. He ain't eating no uh, carrots, no vegetables, no nothing. Susan said, I love raw cabbage. I do too. I love cabbage raw, baked, fried. Mm. I just love cabbage though. And wasn't it what? friends of ours that when we lived in Terre Haute used to put out a big garden. Yeah. And they picked the cabbage off. Uh huh. And then you said it would grow back again. You have to cut it. You don't pick oh, it. You, you, cut it. you have to cut it a certain way and it grows back. Never knew that. Yeah. Oh my gosh, remember our Amish friends? Yeah. Yeah. You all we have Amish friends. Yes. Elam. Yes, and Elam and Mary. Yes, and they have they got kicked. They got shunned out. They didn't get kicked. Out. They shunned them in the Amish community, and they got shunned for believing our Bible. Well, anyhow, I got schooled by their five-year-old boy. I got schooled by him. Yes, I did. Bad too. Yes. Oh my gosh, it was so funny. When we left, I was like, did you hear that five-year-old? He just scolded me. <laughs> it was hilarious. Susan said, oh, fried, talking about cabbage. Oh, yes. Fried cabbage is amazing. I love me some cabbage. What? Was it when he scolded you because... When he was naming off their pets? No. Or was well, it about cabbage and that? No, 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 no. Um, he, he was showing me the pictures is what it was. Is it? Yeah, it was over the pictures. He had some pictures and because um, they just got a cell phone and he took pictures of the water that was running, the stream of water behind their house, okay? I said, Oh, a crick. He goes, a what? I go, a crick. He goes, no, creek. I said, oh, creek. He goes, yes, you Englishmen are lazy talkers. <laughs> yes, sir, we are. <laughs> Just where you started telling a family said, well, tell us. <laughs> <laughs> but then, because when we first got there, everything wasn't ready yet. Yeah. So. They said they were for dinner. They said, told the 
kids said take them out and show them the garden and farm, you know. Yeah, show them around the farm. So we was walking with them in that, and they were showing us the farm animals. And they was naming off, okay, the bull's name is this, the cow's name is this, the calf's name is this, the horse's name is this. And we come to the pig and Christy. They even named the chickens. The chickens. Oh, the chickens too. Yes, yeah. they named the chickens. So then we come to the pig and Christy goes, well, what's the pig's name? He goes, oh, we don't name what we're going to eat. <laughs> that poor pig. Uh, <laughs> but they, uh, oh, what was it? He's looking at the garden. Yeah. They was telling us the. I asked what that cabbage was, well, if it was a certain type of cabbage. Yeah. Because it looked like it had a spider web in the leaves, but it was growing that way. And I said, oh, what kind of, what kind of cabbage is this? And he goes, lazy Englishman. <laughs> My bad. But he said, said it in dead language. Yeah. German, German. They oh, said German. German. Yeah, they speak German. They teach him. That's their first language. Is German. But they said it in German. But he had to look at his older brother and ask what the English word for it was. Yeah. But I can't remember what they said it was. He now. translated it. It's some kind of cabbage. It's a winter cabbage that they grow. Pamela sent pig emojis. <laughs> You oh, ever want to get schooled, go see a five-year-old uh, Amish. Amish boy. <laughs> Susan's doing <standing> laughing emojis. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He schooled me, that five-year-old. I came home, and I was like, I feel like ten times like an idiot. <laughs> and I'm like, I think I'm kind of smart because I got laid in school. I mean, when I was in the principal's office, and he, like, really schooled me. I was like... God, I feel stupid. <laughs> and he just kept saying, you Englishmen are lazy talkers. <laughs> you right, yeah. And he's like, oh. I'm like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Afraid to say anything because you may say it wrong. <laughs> right? Finally, his dad, Tina, was getting frustrated because I didn't know what to say. And he just started laughing and he goes, it's okay. No, it's not okay. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> they were really good people. They were. Oh, my gosh. They had made... A friend went with us. And my friend went and got a pumpkin. Because it was around Halloween time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my friend went and got a pumpkin. Took that pumpkin and baked it in the oven and got all the pulp out of the pumpkins and made it from scratch a pumpkin pie, which I don't eat pumpkin pie, so I don't really care. <laughs> I don't eat anything pumpkin. Ugh. I don't like the smell, I don't like the taste, I don't like the texture, I don't like anything of it. So, yeah, she made these pumpkin pies and we went out here for dinner. And the five year old grass place water because there was a light that got into the house. And he turned around and he took that fly sweater and he smacked it right on the middle of that pumpkin pie. And I was like, they were like, do you want some? I'm like, no, I don't eat pumpkin. Thank you. And they were like, it's the fruit of the labors. And I'm making them save it up for you. <laughs> you can have all of her fruits of labors. I'll pass. I'm just not into fly goods. Thank you. Let's go ahead and attach the truck on that note. Yeah, we should. Yeah. He's so cute. Get ready. Yeah. And we still got to attach these little feet down here at the bottom. Oh, it is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me hurry. I'll stop talking. It was just so... You know which way to turn? No, it's all tangled and twisted here. Wasn't me. I haven't used it in a while. It's my six gauge. I can see it over the glasses on. That might be it. No. I 
I should have had this already on there. That is random light. Yeah, if you Hi, get Michelle. it. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. So super cute. Thank you. Yeah, if you ever get a chance to talk to the Amish, just talk to them. They're friendly. You might get an education from the children. And what is right there underneath of his hands, like he's holding on to his truck. I'm just going to attach this to the frame. Through and add another wire later, but for now, just so we can finish live, and I don't keep them here all night. <coughs> and let's attach his feet. And he has a little bunny tail coming out over here on the side. My throat's getting dry, can you tell? Mm -hmm. Pam said, very pretty. Carol said, hey. Hey, Carol. Carol, if you're just now joining, it's good, because I, I I don't know if you'd want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> <laughs> don't go back and watch the replay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bad child. No, not you. Not really. Yeah. I think I was provoked by my oh, siblings. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, yeah. They dared me. That's what you've always been saying since I've known you. Always blaming it on your brothers and sisters. Yeah, they were they were of the devil until I knew they were the devil children. Carol said, I forgot you were alive. <laughs> That's all right. I'll still be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was rotten child. Most of the time. Not all the time, just most of the time. I tried to be dead, but it was hard. <laughs> you just got too bored, I guess. I guess. I, I think I have that attention span thing. <laughs> My halo keeps falling down. <laughs> but you over there laughing at Charlie Brown? <laughs> Carol said, how cute is that in a bunch of hearts? Thank you. I'll probably go back here and sturdy up these feet after the live. I'm just trying to hurry so I don't keep you on here any longer. And what? Pamela just said, hey, Carol. Carol said, Charlie Brown is feeling frisky. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's happy he got to do a live. He is. This made his night. I told him I would do a live tonight just so he could be a moderator tonight. I'm glad to be able to be on here and talk to everybody. And yes. It's been fun. Everybody's been a blast. Yes. He has missed everybody working so much. So I told him I would jump on and do this live tonight. I did run into Ben Franklin's today. Like I said, I was wanting some of the mint colored. I call it mint colored. I don't know what color it is. I call it mint mesh. They didn't have it. So I told him, I'll just go home and use the yellow and the pink and make it even vibrant. Instead of tone it down, we'll just make it bright. It is what it is. I have some ordered, but it's not here yet. And it's going to be a while. So it is what it is. All right. Let me move this. 
carrot over this way. I want to see the feet. I want them to come out sideways like this, like that. We do have a bow. I don't know where we're going to put it, but we're putting it on here just because I made it. This is what we got so far. How cute. Like I said, I'll go back through and tighten these up after the live. I don't want to keep you on here any longer than I have to. And I have a little bunny tail over here. It looks like it's holding onto the truck full of eggs. And we have all these bright colored ribbons, mesh. Looks awesome. Like I said, I'll take pictures of it. And then I have this bow that I made. Carol said it's stinking and horrible. Thank you. So I don't know where I'm going to put the bow, but it's going on here. Maybe right here. And we'll have the carrot popping out of it. Maybe that'll have to put his feet on. Carrie said love it. Thank you. I just wanted something bright and fun and... Because I'm fun. No. <laughs> you are. I am. And if anybody has any questions or anything, <coughs> go ahead and put it in the comments. Because we do go back and read every single yes. comment. And we will respond to them. Yes, he does read every single comment. He really does. Yep. And I do my very best to get every single comment. And... Yep. And he really does enjoy doing that. There. What makes it real fun is when I'm not here for the live and I don't get a chance to watch it and I come home and she's like, hey, you need to answer to the comments. I'm like, I don't even know what was going on. Well, Friday, I just got done with the live and um, I just got done with the live and he walked through the door and he was all kinds of sad because I just finished the live and he didn't get home in and he was all kinds of sad. And I said, well, you can go through and read all the comments. And he's like, I don't know what this means. I'm like, eh, just push like. <laughs> what I normally do if she but wants I... me to do the comments, I'll go through and read every single comment. Then I go back and watch the video. And then I can piece everything together. And then I'll go back and yep. respond to the comments. <laughs> yeah. I knew he would have to watch the video, so. Yep. Let me with this tail up there. Carol said, hey, Charlie Brown, let's see. Showed me the farmhouse reef. Uh, yeah, the. Yeah, the farmhouse reef. Yeah. Maybe done Friday. Yep. The one's hanging Sold. outside. <laughs> <laughs> the one that's hanging out in the front door. Yep. Yep, that one. All right. Yeah, I love it. It's neat. Joanne's laughing. <laughs> I said, I hope it don't take the whole frame all out of the door. <laughs> so far, so good. He actually turned it on tonight, along with all the other Christmas lights. I'm surprised. Alrighty, y'all. This is what time it is. Woo -woo. Alrighty. Let me fix my little features. Here's my little tail, bunny tail. How stinking cute is that? <laughs> Carol said, I meant soda. <laughs> <laughs> well, if she sold it to take Carol, then it's going to a perfect home. <laughs> Me to go shopping with. That's all that matters. There you go. <laughs> like I said, I'll go back there and tighten these up after the live. I just didn't want to keep you on here any longer. So we got some carrots on here for our little bunny and some girls are very cute. Thank you. We got bright and bold colors and I just wanted something fun and pick me uppers and Sherry sure said really cute. Thank you. I know I keep moving it around. The camera is not positioned right, but anyhow. You always got it turned on you more than me. What if 
her. <laughs> you kicked it over here on me. <laughs> Don't look now. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Tell me what. Yeah, I'll get some pictures of this in the morning. I'll take some pictures of it in the daylight. I'll have to get that crane out and move that other wreath off the front door <laughs> and hang this one up and get some good pictures of it in the daylight. Hopefully it's not raining tomorrow. Yeah. But I wanted something bright, bold, and fun. And well, you fun. did me. I've been here. Oh, my head. <laughs> oh, my head. My crown. You're knocking my crown off now. You're making me want to sand here, brother. Y'all, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow night. I don't know if he'll be here or not. I think he's got to work. It's been a blast, everyone. I've really enjoyed yes. seeing everyone and talking to everyone. Chelsea, great job. Thank you. Tomorrow, <clears throat> we're going to do this. I don't know if it's backwards, but it says love. We're going to do this heart tomorrow. We're going to spread some love tomorrow. And no, I'm not going to go visit my Amish friends tomorrow. I'm not going to go to school before I go live. So <laughs> I'm staying home tomorrow, y'all. So I'll be back tomorrow. I mean, I'll be back to normal time at 8 o'clock. Until then, have a blessed evening. Thank you all for joining us. Bye. Bye.